A group of former FLDS parents is speaking publicly today, saying their children have disappeared. And while they're labeled as runaways, the parents believe they had help from those loyal to polygamous leader Warren Jeffs. New specialist Lad Egan joins us now with more. Lad? The group of parents and an attorney for some of them gathered in Cedar City to voice their concerns and call on the community and law enforcement to help find their children. They disappeared in the middle of the night. Lorraine Jessup says her I three children to... have been missing since January and believes they had help leaving. I am their only legal guardian. I have sole custody. <sighs> their father's deceased. When will this be treated as what it is? The group holding out help says it knows of 19 total children that have gone missing, but that nine of them have already been found. They blame it on purported orders from imprisoned FLDS leader Warren Jeffs that loyal parents find their children and return them to the fundamentalist church. We need to take this more seriously in Utah and in surrounding states where these children are being hidden. Attorney Roger Houle like says that there is often parenting conflicts when one parent leaves the FLDS community. Rather than let the law provide those rules so that the parents can work together for the protection of their children, we're seeing the children disappear from the non-FLDS parent. They're disappearing. She took my car and ran away at the beginning of this year in the night. Elizabeth Roundy says she has full custody of her daughter, but the police told her they can't do a lot with a runaway case. I've tried to explain to them that this is not just her running away. They're hiding her. She was told what to do, where to go. It has been a completely manipulated situation, I, I believe, with all of the children that are missing. And the parents allege that their children were given track phones and survival gear by loyal Jeff's followers. They hope that by sharing their stories today that they can raise awareness and get more help from police. Back to you. All right, Jed, or uh, Lad, thank you.